a lot of people try to figure out life insurance and they go, okay, I figured out term. And then maybe they watch some, you know, videos like this. They go, okay, I think I got whole life down or I got IUL down, you know, and then someone comes on like me and I start talking about survivorship life. And so then it gets kind of confusing. It's like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why are you trying to get more death benefit? I thought we were trying to build more cash value. What's really important to distinguish is what are you using your life insurance for and what needs can it really serve? Like you mentioned in the intro, Denzel, if people are building up cash values to then take loans and put into the real estate or whatever they're going to do with it, that's a totally different use case for life insurance than what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about with survivorship life is we want to be putting in money, not building a cash value and trying to leverage as much death benefit as we can for that premium. So in my mind, with somebody who uses life insurance a lot and owns a lot of life insurance, I think of those as almost like completely opposite type strategies, right? One, you're trying to overfund and get a lot of cash into so you can use it. The other, you're trying to put as little amount as, as you can to get as much death benefit. It's almost similar to like term insurance. You know, when you go to buy a term policy, you're trying to say, okay, well, how can I get the most benefit with the, the best company I can find for the cheapest premium, right? That's what everybody's shopping for. Right. Survivorship life insurance is the same, except survivorship life insurance can be with you for life. It's not like a term where you're going to get it for 10, 20, 30 years. This is going to be something that you're going to pay in. And if you structure it properly, you'll have it for your entire life. And so what's exciting about survivorship life is it could be whole life. It could be universal life, index universal life, guaranteed universal life. I typically use the SGUL, survivorship guaranteed universal life. And the reason I use that is because when we're buying death benefits, I don't want really performance to have that big of an impact on it. In some cases, having performance can be a really good thing.